This is a quick review of the CBCT app we developed for iOS. Um, the app is useful for learning normal anatomical landmarks on CBCT. Um, we included the three cases, two cases from Kirstream Dental, um, a small and a medium field of review, as well as a large field of review from the Serona Galileo's Combeam CT. Uh, for each case, we included three reference planes, axial, coronal, and sagittal. And these are the same planes that you would get when viewing the image volume on the CBCT software. Um, using two fingers scrolling, we can basically navigate through the entire data set. And as you can see, as I scroll with my fingers, I get all the labels to show up on both sides uh, of the volume. All these labels are dynamically labeled um, and they were done by hand and uh, we wanted to make sure that everything is done properly so it took, took some time to get all these labels done. If you switch to the coronal you will also get all the coronal um, cross sections with all the labels done um, and let's say you are interested in a particular area you can use two fingers pinch in to zoom in and have a magnified a view of that structure and you can still get the label to show up so that's kind of a nice way um, to view a, a structure um, zoomed in if I want to switch to the medium field of view I can still do that so let me do that and let me scroll and you can see it's really fast we optimize the software to make it very smooth and this is a first generation iPad mini um, the thing that we added, uh, we included a volumetric render the skull with a reference plane in, in red because we thought first time users may have a hard time orienting themselves to the level that they are looking at. So this is an easy way to tell which level are you looking at by just looking at that red line. And um, it's a cool way to learn all the anatomical landmarks on CVCT. Um, let me move to the third case, so um, that's the Galileo, and because it's a large field of view, the list of structures um, is more extensive. Uh, we included um, airway spaces, um, soft tissue, hard tissue, even some artifacts um, if we encounter them. You can also see different letters on each view, so for example A would be anterior, P posterior, R right, L left, if I move to the coronal section, um, I have superior and inferior. So this is again to orient yourself properly within the 3D image volume. And um, let's say you learn these structures, you want to test yourself to assess how much structures you have memorized. Uh, a cool way to do that would be to use the quiz mode. So if I hit this question mark, it basically um, switches everything to um, a quiz mode and I can tap with my finger and it will tell me what that structure is which is in this case the maxillary sinus um, and let's say I want to look at this one for example this is the um, inferior nasal turbinate again I tap on it and then I get the corresponding structure um, and if you want to get the full list you can go to this magnifying glass and you can either search for a structure by name or you can actually um, scroll through this list and you get the full um, structures available for that particular view. So le let me try and type maybe um, the mental foramen. So men tell and it immediately selects mental foramen for me. So let's tap it and boom it's highlighted and it actually takes me there. I mean, how cool is that? Um, we also added support for uh, portrait mode. So let's say, um, let me try to zoom out and switch to portrait. So as I flip the iPad, it automatically adjusts the view for me. And let me do that again. Boom, it's done. So depending on how you want to hold your iPad, uh, if you're comfortable with the um, landscape, which is what we prefer, you can do that, but you can still do it in the portrait mode. And we added also support for different languages. 
So um, if you want to learn it in Spanish or in German or in Russian or other languages, all you need to do is to switch the language of your iPad, change the region and select the language you prefer, for example French, and then the app will automatically use the French translation from our radiologist um, uh, that helped translate the um, structures properly using the correct terminology. Um, well, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to drop us a line. Um, and we hope you enjoyed the app. Thank you for your support.